Hey everyone, welcome to Amazing Buys, where we discuss shopping, fragrance, and reviews. If you like this content or you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into the topic of Bath & Body Works members' appreciation. So I'm sure you've all seen the early access we've been getting on the app, the reveals, the voting, the percentages off, and then the infamous expensive robes they came out with. This wasn't a good way to start off to be honest, but today they finally released a fragrance mess deal. All minis are $2.95 for today only, that's including the new fall scents that just came out. So let's get started with my walkthrough on the new items I found before we get into the new fragrances. I spotted this hand sanitizer holder of a dog with a tennis ball that actually lights up. And speaking of hand sanitizer, Pumpkin Cupcake smells amazing. It smells just like the name and I'm hoping they have a body mist for this. The wallflowers are so pretty and I really like this house, but the most unique I have to say was definitely this bear. I'm not too much of a fan of mushrooms, but this was so eye-catching against the lights. It looked gorgeous. And the last one was a maroon flower. Like I said, the wallflowers are really pretty this year. Now for the candles. White pumpkin oak wood was a nice pumpkin and spice type of scent. The fruits and wood was kind of in the background. And harvest gathering was fall in a jar. It's fruity and it smells like fall leaves, like an actual pile of fall leaves and spices. For midnight cocktails, even though this has tobacco and clove notes, it's really soft and not overbearing. I thought this one was okay. I didn't really like Cozy Sunday Night because the crystallized ginger was way too much. And I usually like ginger notes. Fresh Balsam was a bit too earthy for me. I usually like the whole Christmas tree scent, but this scent is usually a hit or miss. Apricot and Green Fig was a nice fruity woody scent. I really like this one. And I went over Cranberry Woods before. The notes are pretty spot on. Next we have Autumn. This had too much eucalyptus notes in there, in my opinion, so I was a little bit disappointed in that. If you're a fan of it though, you'll like it. Frosted Cranberry was another one I didn't really like. It was way too woody and not enough cranberry, and I couldn't decide if I really liked Harvest Pomegranate or not. Heads up, the Black Plum is a really deep plum note. I really like the Champagne Apple and Honey. To me, the apple note is stronger in this than the Fragrance Mist, and you already know Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is amazing. Now onto the new fragrances. First, we have Sunrise Woods. This has notes of Creamy Sandalwood, Sweet Berries, and Cozy Cashmere. This was a feminine woods and berry scent. The cashmere notes definitely soften the wood note, so this would be good as a standalone or layering. Up next, we have sweet whiskey. The notes are golden amber, vanilla fused whiskey, and sweet red berries. If you've smelled whiskey reserve cologne, then imagine a feminine version of that. This is whiskey reserve without the wood note and much sweeter. I personally wouldn't wear this on its own, but it would be great for layering. My favorite in the new collection is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. This reminds me of Philosophy Fresh Cashmere with boozy notes. I think this is a great vanilla scent on its own or for layering. And last we have Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. Guys, this caught me off guard. This has notes of suede petals, soft sandalwood, and vanilla bean. This has a lipstick smell, or to be honest, a baby doll's head smell. I know it's weird, but that's what this smells like. Well, that is it for the new fall collection review. Remember, if you don't see the full-size bottle in your store, check on the travel sizes. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have fun, stay blessed, and happy shopping.